Good morning guys, gals, Ted from Pewview Farms here. This week's video is basically just going to be a roundabout how we operate here on Pewview Farms. Uh, this is a hobby farm. Me, my wife, we both work off the farm jobs. Uh, this is not our full-time gig. This is more of a passion for me and uh, she helps out with my passion and uh, so does my dad quite a bit. So basically, I'm just going to explain to you guys in this video what it takes for somebody in our position to run a hobby farm. So basically, that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please do me a favor. Like the video. Please do me another favor. Subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here. And guys, leave me a comment. I love getting back to you. That being said, I look forward to talking to y'all real soon. So for those of you, any of you that basically have anything to do in the agricultural field, whether it be hobby farmers, row crop farmers, full-time dairy farmers, full-time beef farmers, ranchers, uh, homesteaders, anything like that, we all understand that there is a lot of time involved out of your everyday life to make sure that these animals have a proper, safe, and healthy lifestyle. So that being said, guys, let's uh, kind of talk about what it takes here on our farm specifically on a daily basis to run the farm properly. Okay, here in Pewview Farms, we are a cow-calf hobby operation. We have 12 mom cows, and we strive to have 12 calves every year around the springtime. So that being said, they need to be taken care of. We also raise four or five hogs every year for our freezer and for off the farm sale use. Uh, we raise our own chickens here for our eggs. Uh, every once in a while we'll get into some meat birds and stuff like that. So me just kind of estimating what it takes on a yearly basis to take care of these animals. And this is just including morning chores. We start our morning off early in the morning before we go to work. And we spend about a half hour out here making sure that all the animals are fed, have the feed that they need for the day while we are off the farm. So we got the half hour there. And then we spend about another half hour in the evening before dark doing chores again, feeding everybody again, and making sure that they're good through the night and the evening. So we got about an hour a day that we spend doing chores on average. And some days there's actually more, but... We'll just average it out to about an hour a day. So that's 365 hours a year in doing chores here on the hobby farm. So there comes a time when these mamas back here in the springtime, basically we'll start having calves. And we spend a lot of extra time making sure that stuff goes correctly and the calves are safe, uh, clean, warm, and because we have our calves, we're here in western New York, we deal with some funky weather during the spring, so we do spend a lot of extra time when these guys start having their babies. So I figured it out too, I spent at least on an average about 10 hours per cow-calf pair just constantly going out to the barn, checking up on them, because we do seclude them when it comes time for them to having calves so they can have a little mother-baby bonding relationship time with being away from the herd. Yeah, I, we believe it helps here very, very well here on the farm. So about 10 hours, we figure, per cow-calf pair that we spend. So that's 120 hours for our 12 cow-calves that we spend just making sure that the birthing process and everything is going correctly. Now, in order to feed these animals, we have to go on out in the summertime and make hay. So, and haying is an intense operation. It takes a lot of time, a lot of equipment, and it takes a lot of manpower and extra help. And we usually do anywhere from 60 to 70 acres here on Pewview Farms. And it figures out to be about, I figured it to be 65 hours per cutting. And here in western New York, where we live, our climate and everything like that, usually permits us to do a first and a second crop here of hay. Usually the second crop is usually about half the yield. It doesn't get as thick, full, and lush as our first cut does, but it still takes the same amount of time. So we're looking at about just 130 hours right there of making enough hay feed for these guys to 
survive the winter months when they're not out on pasture. Now in order to make this hay, we have to have equipment to make this hay. Some people hire stuff out and you know, everything's subbed out, they don't have the equipment, they just buy the hay. They either have their own land, they hire it done. I mean, there's lots of ways of doing it. We choose here on the farm to own our own equipment and do it ourselves because then, then we're only at the mercy of ourselves and we only have ourselves to blame if we don't get the right amount of hay put away for these animals each and every year. So you're looking at almost 20 hours a year in just maintenance on the equipment, what it takes to make hay on this farm. I mean, we got the Kubota M7040. The filters need to be changed. It needs to be cleaned. Uh, just there's maintenance on this stuff. You know, we got the LS170 skid steer right over there. That takes a lot of maintenance too. And you know, there's multiple pieces of equipment here on the farm that we use and need maintenance. So you're looking at a good amount of time right there, just maintenance on the vehicles and the equipment to make this hay that the animals eat. Now after the animals here on the farm eat the hay and the grain and everything else that they've been into here on the farm, they create fertilizer that we can put back on our fields. And there is an abundance of it. Let me tell you what, with the average of 12 cows that we have here, the bulls, the steers, and the couple calves that we keep over, you're looking at a little over 20 animals. They create a lot of MPK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium put back out on the fields and normally in a decent winter where your ground freezes you can be getting rid of this year round lately here in western New York we haven't had that where I don't want to personally go out there and start spreading this stuff and tear the fields up and make extra work so you're looking at about I spend on an average a full work week 40 hours just taking care of the manure stockpile here on the farm so there's another added hourly time. Now another thing that we do here on the farm, and I'm pretty sure anybody and everybody that has animals also does this. Each and every year when you decide to move the cows to a summer grazing pasture, you have fence that keeps them in. And uh, we we're constantly going out checking in on this. But coming this time of year here soon, we'll start walking the fences and checking for Debris like we got here on the fence lines, moving stuff, see if there's any trees or anything laying down, broken insulators. And I spend on an average probably about 10 hours a year going around checking fence and making sure that these animals are secured during the winter and summer months. So then you got your normal just everyday activities here on the hobby farm that take time to you got going to the feed mill once every two weeks, which, you know, isn't super far, but that adds up. You know, going to the auctions where you're going to be taking your animals if you decide to. Meeting people here on the farm that might be interested in purchasing a cow or a calf or something like that. The pigs. Uh, going to the vet to go get antibiotics if you need to be treating an animal. Um, just the extra leg work that you put in to make sure everything goes smoothly. And I bet you on average, we put in about 100 hours a year just doing that kind of small odds and ends stuff. Probably my least favorite thing to do is what I call spring cleanup. Here in Western New York, the way our winters have been, it's up, down, warm, cold, wet, dry, froze. And when you're going around with heavy equipment, you know, you're looking at a skid steer that weighs a lot. And it has a really low center of gravity so that thing makes ruts, tears stuff up very easy. Same way with the tractor. When you're hauling bales back and forth from here to there, and you're trying to get to this part of the pasture and stuff like that, moving snow, as you can see, you know, my lawn is literally right up in this area. So all this part right here is tore up lawn. So I call that spring cleanup. And I bet you on average between running through with the rototiller, disc, whatever, trying to refit stuff, make it more easier uh, to walk on and definitely more pleasant to look at in the summer months. We spend an average of 20 hours a year just going through my messes, what I've made in the winter months, just spring cleanup. So there's quite a bit of time here, as you can see, involved on just our small hobby farm average operation. Here in the farm and our hourly total to make this farm go smoothly in my mind which may not be smoothly in other people's mind, 
We spend about an average of 805 hours a year here. Starting this Tuesday, guys, we're going to start featuring a channel shout out. And it's going to be every Tuesday from here on out. Something we're going to start doing. Really excited. It's just going to be a four to five minute video of me explaining to you about this channel that I choose. They're going to be small channels that need that extra oomph to keep wanting to go here on YouTube. Channels that I enjoy. Channels that I feel that are going to be very informative to you guys. So that being said, guys, look forward to a Tuesday shout out video starting here this Tuesday. And also remember that we are posting videos every Thursday morning and Sunday evening also. So if you guys enjoy what's going on here, do me a favor, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can make sure you know when those videos are posted. Thursday mornings and Saturday, Sunday afternoons. All right, guys, gals. Basically what it all boils down to in the grand scheme of things is here on the hobby farm, just our hobby farm in general, just by doing a couple generalizations of hours put here, there, there, and everywhere else, we spend about 805 hours a year trying to maintain this farm to where the likings of myself, I'm happy, basically. And there always is room for improvement and stuff, and there's always more hours to be put in. But this is just a generalization of what it takes here hourly on our farm to keep it going so that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this was a little bit of information for somebody out there that might be thinking about going into hobby farming or yeah something basically like we have here uh there is a lot of time involved but if you have a passion for it and if you have a space for it in your heart trust me it's all well worth it and i put another 805 hours a year and if i had to just because i enjoy it this much so that being said guys if you like the video please do me a favor like we also do me one more favor subscribe to the channel uh it's pretty simple right down over there just hit the subscribe button C click it red red is means you're subscribed basically and uh i look forward to talking to you guys all real soon